guess who we have today? Whoop! That's right. Hey. Te Tesla therapy with the two of us this time. Let's check it out, team. Let's see what we got. Strap up. Weeks was a little heavy handed, huh? Oh, yeah. Right? And some big heartfelt stuff, especially for our community. It touches some close to home. Yeah, prayers go out. Yep. Rest in peace, Bianca. RIP. So, yeah, today, uh, this week, guys, we're going to go a little bit more lighthearted for you. We're going to do a little bit more of global issues, obviously, you know homicide and, and, and teen murder and all of that is definitely something that is a big part and a problem in our society. But we're gonna talk a little bit more emotional today. We're gonna talk jealousy and envy. Now those are two really big words, really, really big words for humans. Now, for me personally, this is gonna be really on point because I just went through a little tidbit of it actually in collaboration with our business with Brian here on, uh, what was it, over the weekend? I don't remember what day yeah. it was, but anyway, to make a long story short, we have always dabbled in VR content. Ever since we kind of started All of Us Studios, VR has kind of been our weird first leg that we started experimenting with over time, and it's evolved. It's gotten bigger, it's gotten bigger, it's gotten bigger, and once we moved into this new studio at Brian's house, we were able to really expand. And so with that, we wanted to live stream VR content. And so I was going to take a little uh, day vacation with my wife, and Brian was downstairs in the studio starting to actually set up that live stream VR content for us. And it was interesting. I had this wave of emotion come over me to where I almost felt, well, I did feel a little jealous and a little envious of what he was doing. Now, that feeling didn't sit forever. It didn't last and linger for, you know, even, even an hour. It didn't last that long. It lasted maybe five, 10 minutes. I actually got in, in my car with my wife and started driving. And I actually had this conversation with her saying, you know what? I was completely jealous and envious back there, but flipping it completely on its head and looking at it from a completely different perspective, flipping that coin one over, I know what Brian was doing. Brian was doing something that number one, made him feel good, and number two, moved us and propelled us forward. How could I genuinely be like put off by that? But we are, weirdly enough, in the moment, that emotion takes over, and to be able to compartmentalize that, not necessarily suppress it, I don't wanna use that word suppression. Suppression is kind of a negative word as far as I'm concerned. And as you know here in all of us, we don't really deal with negativity that well. Um, <laughs> but with that being said, I had that little tidbit of, wow, am I jealous and envious of Brian right now? Because this is really, this was our base, this was our baby, this was our day one project. And the answer ultimately was no, I was happy for him. I was excited because I knew that he was doing something that was propelling his creative mind and he was working out the gears and the kinks in his head of how the hell are we gonna get this off the ground? As you guys know, our VR, our, excuse me, our normal live streaming content is a little unique because we stream console mainly. And that comes with a whole ball of wax with audio issues, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, um, yeah. So make a long story short, like I was saying, guys, I was a little jealous and envious, but moments later, I was able to put it in its right perspective and be happy for us, be happy for Brian, because he was able to be creative. He was able to propel us forward and he was doing something that was pushing his mind in a satisfying way. So, and I actually shared this with uh, with Brian here just a little bit ago, saying, hey, I was a little jealous and envious of you, but it was a perfect episode and a topic for Tesla therapy. So, Brian, after me telling you that, like, have you ever had moments like that in your life where you were able to catch it on the dime and like realize that this really isn't a negative situation, but it's actually a positive situation, but you were feeling maybe overwhelmed in the moment or something like that? Oh yeah, absolutely. And I think that there's a, there's a huge, um, you know, FOMO, right, is a, is a really big thing in our society. Yes. Fear of missing out on anything because everybody wants to get that, uh, that Instagram shot. They want to be there. They want to be a part. They want the tag. They want, you know, they want to be a part of everything. Their hands in everything. You, uh, 
you don't want to feel uncomfortable or unknowledgeable about any situation and so everybody it's so widespread it's so easy to become um, you know we live in we live in a society full of envy of our heroes and of our sports stars and of our celebrities and of our friends honestly when yeah. they get to do something when they get to travel to a cool place um, envy is huge I think where and, and and I think that envy envy is an okay thing to be envious of somebody else uh, to look at them and say you know what I kind of want what you have I'm I am I you know I I'm lifting you up a little bit and saying dang like hmm. I'm feeling I'm feeling a little bit low because you're feeling a little bit high and I want a piece of that right like I want to be there with you I think when we cross into that negative light is when we do move into that jealousy when we get that that fear that whatever the situation is or the person or for our our scenario here which is the VR like you wanted you you wanted to be a part of that and you felt like that you by you not being there something was being taken away from you right you were not getting that experience to to do that to be a part of that to do that with me right and and that is where um, that's where the tides can start to turn from I'm envious of you and I'm and, you know I'm rooting for you and and I want to be a part of that versus um, you know I, I would rather I would rather be a little bit selfish and I, I want to be there and, and I would rather you not do it if I'm not there um, and those are two totally two kind of different things that are on the same wavelength and I think that uh, being able to differentiate between the two and I think that you may, it sounds like you started a little bit jealous of the scenario and then kind of became just envious of the situation. Absolutely. Once you realized that it was something therapeutic and it was something that built um, one of what Mark Manson always talks about in his four, um, his four psychological needs, one of them being a sense of autonomy in Good the point. sense that somebody needs to be empowered and gain their self-esteem from something that they're able to do on their own without the helping hand of another. And it's it's a really important thing for people to to feel empowered in that way. And once it sounds like from your story that once you recognize that this was going to be something that was going to empower me and make me feel good, Bingo. and then and then also benefit our brand in the future. Right. Um, and then then I think it sounds like you turn from that jealousy into an envy. And if you guys can out there can take and, and recognize those things where you are jealous, where you see. Maybe your maybe your girlfriend's hanging out with another guy, and you guys are friends, but you're still jealous because you're a little fearful that that guy could take your girl, right? Instead, just be if you can just try to turn that on its head and just be be envious of the guy because he gets to spend time with your with your girl when you want to spend time and, and kind of lift him up and say, you know what, this is you're lucky, you know, I'm happy for you that you get to spend time with such an amazing person. And I want to spend time with that person too, but I'm not going to be fearful of you right. because that's just going to drive mistrust into your relationship and put a wedge between you and the person who you want to be with, right? So, so being able to recognize jealousy and envy is two separate things and turning jealousy into envy, I think is a tool that we can all use to, uh, to better our future and not live in a state of fear. Absolutely. I think, you know, one of the key things that comes from what you were just saying, Ryan, is that need and that sense of validation, validation, you yes. know what I mean? Yeah. Feeling validated in the moment, feeling like you are contributing to whatever it is that you are FOMOing on, yes. so you're, that you're missing out on. What? How, why am I not contributing? Is it? Is it because I, I have another obligation or X, Y, and Z? It's that fear of missing out. It's the fear and needing to be um, satisfied, personally satisfied. And so I think that was a really good end cap as far as how we kind of discussed that today. You know, being able to put jealousy into envy is one of those hard life tools. I'm not going to sit here and tell you that it's easy. Brian's not going to sit here and tell you that it's easy. Definitely not. It's not easy, guys. But the fact is, is that if you're aware of it, we talk about awareness, we talk about mindset yeah. all the time. If you're cognizant of it, guys, that means you have the opportunity to change it and make it positive for yourself. That's all I got, Brian. What do you got for today? Awesome. Thanks for joining me on Tesla Therapy, my man. Boom. Well, thanks for having you. me. Absolutely. Guys. And we'll see you guys next week. Take care.
All right, Max, where's our microphone? Yeah, in our four adapters. Yeah. All right, Maxi Poo. Next, I was just gonna say. <laughs>